he's pretty famous. And one of the things that I get to do in my job is to draw him all the time. What's nice about it is is that once you get going and you've done it a couple of times, there's really no way you can mess this up. It is a simple matter of taking shapes, whether they're inverted pairs, peanut shapes, circles, squares, or triangles, and you put them all together to create our boy Sparty. The way I draw Sparty is that I, I like to start with pencil. I like to go in and start with his head. Um, his head is basically a big peanut shape with a circle on top of it. If you look at that big chin that he's got, it literally looks like a peanut. And I start there, and I sketch the head in, and I get it in place. And then from there, I just draw loose lines to kind of show where his arms and legs and torso are going to be, depending upon what I want him to do. From there... I literally take and start using these big shapes to create his body. His chest, because he's this big buff mascot, is literally an upside down pear. You take this big pear shape and the pear itself becomes his chest and it slides down to his little skinny waist. His legs, of course, are nothing but a bunch of circles and ellipses and you build them and you put them all together. Once you get what you like, you add props, whether you have him throwing a football, whether he's holding a hockey stick, whether you've got him sitting at a desk with a bunch of books, you sketch those in too. And those are squares, shapes, and ellipses. A lot of simple shapes. Once I get that done, once I get a, a, a pencil sketch drawing to the stage that I like it, I've got all of the pieces in place, I then take my markers and I go in and I start to fine tune the lines. And I will go in and I'll construct the helmet, the epaulets that are on his shoulders, the little Spartan skirt that he wears, his boots. I'll tidy all of that up and I'll go in with my marker and I'll, I'll construct the shadows, the thicks and the thins to get some depth and shape to it. And then from there, I go in with final colors, whether it's green or flesh tones, finishing it all up with these colored markers. You literally get to bring Sparty to life and make him do whatever you like. And that's what I think is the most fun about doing this, is that you get to breathe life into something that was just a simple blank piece of paper.